Just give me a little dog. Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking over the top beautiful. It is a fine autumn day here in the collapse of everything. That is Thursday, <clears throat> November 2nd, 2023. Here in hot Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, enjoying this beautiful weather and looking at the 10 day forecast for Donellan, Florida, which is where I am headed. 10 reasons to be a snowbird. But anyway, uh, as I mentioned on this rant I just did, I've been on the road for several days. Haven't gotten around to doom scrolling. I got kind of, I got kind of hung up over there at medium.com reading uh, Michael Campy's uh, lighthearted hatchet job that he just did on me. Uh, so anyway, uh, getting back on track. So I go over here to the mainstream media to see how long am I going to have to doom scroll before coming up with today's straight ahead daily chronicle of the collapse. And I had to make it to story number three on the planet. We had the kerfuffle over there in the Middle East, number one. Donald Trump being the number two biggest story on the planet. So kerfuffle, Donald Trump, and coming in third. It took me about five seconds since I did not open the first two stories. And good old Guardian coming in, you know, while I was over ranting about uh, all of the divisiveness in the doomosphere, all of the infighting and divisiveness and, and all of this and doomer cancel culture. I open up and we find a story a uh, little bit along the line about the <clears throat> the built the continuing uh, fight between James Hansen and Michael Mann as James Hansen uh, comes out swinging uh, in his latest paper. I, I was just going to read parts of Jim's paper, but the good old Guardian has done a fine job, so I'm just going to share their story, and you can read it yourself. But... Uh, as the leaf blowers blow, I will just sit here and do this for you if you want to sit around listening to me read it. Take it away, Guardian. <clears throat> Global heating is accelerating, warns scientists who sounded climate alarm in the 1980s, which of course is James Hansen. Now, I vaguely remember doing a very similar article to this one. Uh, a few months ago, and I guess things are heating up in the doomosphere. <clears throat> Take it away. Guardian and James Hansen, and then we'll mention Michael Mann in a minute. Global heating is accelerating faster than is currently understood and will result in a key temperature threshold being breached as soon as this decade according to research led by James Hansen, the U.S. scientist who first alerted the world to the greenhouse effect, which is not exactly true. They're talking about in 1988, I, it's what they're talking about. I distinctly remember being an elementary school student in Atlanta, Georgia, right here in the 1960s where they were teaching about the greenhouse effect in textbooks for fourth graders in the 1960s in Atlanta, Georgia. So anyway, uh, back to the Guardian and James Hansen. 
the Earth's climate is more sensitive to human-caused changes than scientists have realized until now, meaning that a dangerous burst of heating will be unleashed that will push the world to be one and a half C hotter than it was on average in pre-industrial times within the 2020s and 2 C hotter by 2050. Hansen's paper published on Thursday predicts uh, and you can click on the Hansen's latest paper and then they mention uh, the article that I covered already a couple of months ago to you know that this is an update of now that the paper's been officially released by Hansen and you should, I mean this thing is a book it's not a paper it's a book <clears throat> this alarming speed up of global heating which would mean the world breaches the internationally agreed one and a half C threshold set out of the Paris Climate Agreement far sooner than expected risks a world quote less tolerable to humanity with greater climate extremes close quote according to the study led by Hansen the former NASA scientist who issued a foundational warning about climate change in the U.S. Congress back in the 1980s. Hansen said there was a huge amount of global heating quote in the pipeline because of the continued burning of fossil fuels and earth being very sensitive to the impacts of this far more sensitive you know according to Hansen than the best estimates laid out by the IPCC <clears throat> quoting uh, Hansen I think from the original story but he might still be saying this because it's true uh, quote we would be damned fools and bad scientists if we did not expect an acceleration of global warming. We are beginning to suffer the effect of our Faustian bargain. That is why the rate of global warming is accelerating." Close quote. Okay, so now we get to all of the backbiting and infighting and drama over here in this section of the Doomosphere uh, that Michael Campy was talking about in his column on medium.com. <clears throat> the question of whether the rate of global heating is accelerating has been keenly debated among scientists this year amid months of record-breaking temperatures. Hansen points to an imbalance, an imbalance no shit, between the energy coming in from the sun versus outgoing energy from the earth that, you know, he says has, quote, notably increased, almost doubling over the past decade. decade. This ramp up, he cautioned, could result in disastrous sea level rise for the world's coastal cities. The new research comprising peer-reviewed work of Hansen and more than a dozen other scientists argues that this imbalance, the Earth's greater climate sen sensitivity, and a reduction in pollution from shipping which has cut the amount of airborne sulfur particles that reflect incoming sunlight are causing an escalation in global heating and this opens up the whole you know global dimming the aerosol that that, that whole thing that uh, 
our buddy amaranth uh anabolic amaranth will keep us more than updated on <clears throat> quote we are in the early phase of a climate emergency close quote the paper warns such back to the paper such acceleration is dangerous in a climate system that is already far out of equilibrium. Reversing the trend is essential. We must cool the planet for the sake of preserving shorelines and saving the world's coastal cities. Close quote. Uh, to deal with this crisis, Hansen and his colleagues advocate for a global carbon tax as well as more controversially efforts to intentionally spray sulfur into the atmosphere in order to deflect heat away from the planet and artificially lower the world's temperature. Uh, so understand James Hansen is now fully on board with uh, solar radiation management, what the chemtrail wackos call chemtrails. Uh, for the record, I am, uh, I, I, I am one doomer who does not agree with James Hansen that it's time, but the, the, you know the whole uh, solar radiation management debate here in the Doomosphere, uh, this heated debate, uh, shall we say, uh, it, it, it's just one more example of frying pan or the fire, or frying pan and the fire, you know, it, it makes no difference. If we don't do it, we are doomed. If we do do it, we're doomed. We're damned if we do, we're doomed if we do, doomed if we don't. It makes no difference whether we stick to the present course or try that. Either way, we are going down. And, uh, you know, my, my response to anyone who supports solar radiation management, cane toads. If you don't know what cane toads are, uh, it is my response to this whole absurd, pointless debate. Uh, but it is certainly uh, a way that doomers are uh, one of the biggest doomer dramas. Where were we? So-called solar geoengineering has been widely criticized for threatening potential knock-on harm to the environment as well as over the risk of a whiplash heating effect should the injection of sulfur cease. You know, what, what they're talking about in, in that, in case you, you don't follow what they're saying, uh, it, it is if you let that toothpaste out of the tube, the, the solar uh, geoengineering, SRM, chemtrails, whatever you want to call it, once you let that out of the tube, you can never stop using it. It would be like the global dimming effect uh, on, on absolute steroids. So they, they, they start doing it, and the fear is they start doing this, and let's say it works. Well, they would have to do it forever, and for whatever reason, if, if, if there were a pause in it, if, if, if we stopped doing it, 
that within no time at all, the uh, the temperature would 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 skyrocket, possibly in a matter of days, and would fry the planet. Uh, is what they're is what they're talking about. Uh, Hansen said that while cutting emissions should be the highest priority, quote, thanks to the, slow, the slowness in developing adequate carbon-free energies and failure to put a price on carbon emissions, it is now unlikely that we can get there. A bright future for young people from here without temporary help from solar radiation management, close quote, ignoring the fact that there's no such thing as temporary help from solar radiation management. And then, of course, there's the bigger uh, story of, of why would we want to save the world's coastal cities, but that's another rant for another day. Uh, this year is almost certain to be the hottest ever reliably recorded with climate uh, with temperatures in September described as gobsmackingly bananas by one climate researcher. A report this week found out that the carbon budget to limit the world to one and a half C of heating is now nearly exhausted due to the continued burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. But while scientists are clear about this being part of an upward trend of global heating, there is as yet no agreement, no agreement, you know, among the doomers that this trend is accelerating. And here's where, of course, we hear from uh, the, the anti-doomer Michael Mann. Michael Mann, a climate scientist at University of Pennsylvania, said that Hansen and his co-authors are, quote, very much out of the mainstream, are very much out of the mainstream in identifying an acceleration in surface heating that has, according to man, quote, continued at a remarkably constant rate for the past few decades, close quote. So basic, essentially, Michael Mann is calling James Hansen either a liar, a liar, crazy, or an alarmist. <clears throat> Mann, and I agree with Michael Mann, <clears throat> said that cuts to shipping emissions have only a tiny effect on the climate system and much more importantly, and I 100% agree with Michael Mann, that calls for solar geoengineering are misguided and a, quote, very slippery slope. So now we have, this is very interesting, so I'm 100% in agreement with James Hansen, no shit Sherlock, what is going on with the acceleration. Uh, the, 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 I mean, Sancho Panza could figure that out, but ironically enough, I am 100% in agreement with Michael Mann what not to do about it and this whole ridiculous notion of, about shipping uh, uh, emissions. I, I have read that study. I'm hitting the bullshit detected button. I, 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 I completely, uh, just, I, I, I just reject that. It, 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 anyway, uh, moving on. <clears throat> 
Barbel Homish, a paleoclimatologist at Columbia University, said she had, quote, some reservations about the certainties expressed in Hansen's research about the state of the Earth's climate millions of years ago, which helps predict the consequences of warming today. Quote, I'd be a little more reserved, but they may well be correct. It is a nicely written paper. It raises a lot of questions that will trigger a lot of research that will bring our understanding forward, close quote. Some other researchers are less skeptical of Hansen's dire warning of supercharged global heating, highlighting his previous prescient warnings about the climate crisis that have largely played out due to decades of inaction to stem the use of fossil fuels. Uh, this is Rob Jackson, a Stanford University uh, scientist and chair of the Global Carbon Project. Take it away, Rob Jackson. <clears throat> I think Hansen's contention that the IPCC has underestimated climate sensitivity somewhat will prove to be correct. It's hard to know what's unlikely anymore in terms of warming. No fossil fuel has declined in use yet globally, not even coal. I think Hansen's pessimism is warranted. He stood up 35 years ago and sounded the alarm, and the world mostly ignored him, and all of us. Close quote. Yep, so we have infighting and backbiting in the doomosphere over this pointless, spurious debate about solar radiation management. Good Lord, when will the, uh, the naked apes give it a rest? Oh, boy, the hopium. The hopium just squirt a little bit of sulfur uh, into the stratosphere. That'll fix everything. We can go right on ahead. We can save our coastal cities. Yes, we can save our coastal cities, and we can save Disney World and Walmart at the same time by shooting poison into the stratosphere. There you go. Get out there and enjoy your stratosphere while you still can. My guys, 